Okay, so our first step is to write the balance uh, chemical reaction equation for the dissociation of propionic acid, this weak acid. We have propionic acid and it is going to react with water molecules. And this reaction is in equilibrium and our products will be hydronium and the conjugate base of this acid. And we make sure that it is balanced and everything is looking good, and it does. Our next step is we can create our ice table here with our initial, the change. and equilibrium concentrations of a major species in this reaction. So the initial concentration of propionic acid is given. It's 1.3 times 10 to the minus one. And the initial concentrations of hydronium and our conjugate base are of course zero initially. Now we're not going to worry about the concentration of water. It essentially does not change in this particular reaction. And that is pretty much always true for these reactions, uh, dissociations involving weak acids. Uh, the change in concentration for propionic acid, the change in concentration is represented by the letter X. And I know that it will be minus X because the concentration of this will decrease. This will be plus x, and this will also be plus x because there's nowhere other to go but up for the concentrations of these two substances because initially it is, of course, zero. So the equilibrium concentrations are going to be equal to the initial plus the change according to what we have in this ice table. So for propionic acid, it's 1.3 times 10 to the minus 1 minus x, this is plus x, zero plus x is plus x, and zero plus x is plus x. Now they're asking me to calculate the pH of this solution, of this particular concentration of propionic acid. And to find the pH, again, it's the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. So I only need to figure out what this is. Why? Because that's the concentration of hydronium ions at equilibrium. So if I could find out what this is at equilibrium, then I could find the pH. I don't even have to worry about determining this equilibrium concentration nor this one, because X will allow me to be able to find all of them. So my next step is to write the equilibrium uh, constant expression for the dissociation of this acid, and that is going to be Ka, which is the acid dissociation constant, uh, is equal to this times the concentration of the conjugate base over the concentration of the weak acid. Water is again omitted. And so we substitute this for the actual value. The actual value is given as 1.3 times 10 to the minus five. And we go back to our ice table to get the substitutions for this, this, and this. So X is the concentration of hydronium at equilibrium. X is also the concentration of the conjugate base at equilibrium. And 1.3 times 10 to the minus 1 minus x is the concentration of propionic acid at equilibrium. So 1.3 times 10 to the minus 1 minus x. Now before we move forward and risk having to go through all of the math of the quadratic formula, let's make sure that the, approx that the approximation method of the assumption is not valid. So we are going to assume that X here is so small that 
subtracting it from 1.3 times 10 to the minus 1 will not really change that value very much at all. So we can continue on to solve for x by just getting rid of that. So 1.3 times 10 to the minus 5 is equal to x squared over 1.3 times 10 to the minus 1. I bring 1.3 times 10 to the minus 1 up. So it cancels all over here. 1.3 times 10 to the minus 1 times 1.3 times 10 to the minus 5. I get that x squared is equal to 1.69 times 10 to the minus 6. I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and that leaves me with x is equal to 0 0.0013. Now let's check this approximation. Is the approximation valid? Well, how do we check that? We take x and we divide it by the initial concentration of our weak acid. So in this case, x is 0 0.0013, and the initial concentration of our weak acid was 1.3 times 10 to the minus 1. We're going to multiply this times 100% to see if it's greater than or less than 5% ionization. When I do the math, I get 1%. So that means the approxim approximation is valid because we only have 1% ionization here and that falls below the 5% threshold. So now, I know that the hydronium ion concentration is equal to X and that came from my ice table. The hydronium ion concentration is equal to X, and we determine X to be 0 0.0013. 0 0.0013 molar. That is the concentration of hydronium ions. So we can find the pH now. pH is equal to the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. pH is equal to the negative log of point zero zero one three and that gives me a pH of two point eight nine to two decimal places and that makes sense this is an acidic solution so the pH should be below seven